Have love with Pat's two cents. Resistance training. You say, what does that have to do with me going through hell right now? Hold that thought. When you are going through resistance training, do you know what they say? You can do all kind of aerobics. You can run around the block 10 million times. You can do all kind of jumping jacks and everything. But the thing that makes fat, now don't look at me, so I'm, I'm not the expert, you can see that. But the thing that makes fat burn is resistance training. When you are lifting weights and you're pushing against weights and you're pulling against weights, and Lord, I wish I had a gym like that around here. But anyway, I am telling you, it helps to burn while burning fat, while building up muscle. Now, picture the fat as your old sinful ways. Picture the fat as the flesh, the old man inside of you that always wants to revert back to the beggarly elements of life when God is trying to get you to rise above through his Holy Spirit, through resistance training. Now, I saw a car, uh, well, not a cartoon, but a comedy. And it was about Hercules. And it was the cutest little movie. This guy was skinny, scrawny, wore glasses. It was so crazy. I don't know how, can't even remember how they got him back in time. But anyway, he was the skinniest, scrawniest looking string bean you could pick. And somehow some pirates got a hold to him. However it happened, he ended up becoming a slave. And they were constantly making them roll these boats, rowing the boat. Now while he's rowing the boat, for some reason the way his body was made up, see this is something God does. He has a purpose for our lives. And some develop very quickly while others cave in under the pressure. Well, this man developed very quickly. Okay. And he's rowing and he's rowing and he's rowing and he's rowing. And boy, before you know it, they have to put more men on the other side because he's out rowing. And then they got to put more men on the other side. And he's building up muscle as he's rowing. And guess what happens? He's rowing. He's such a bad mamma jamma that all the other guys got to get on the other side of the ship and row just to keep up with him. And what comes of it? Somehow he gets free. Not going into all that detail, but somehow he gets free. And what does he end up doing? He rescues this one and rescues that one and saves that one's life. And he's, excuse me, saves people's lives and I mean he's just he lifts things to rescue people I mean he's just so massive and so strong that everybody looks up to him because of his great strength okay think about that when you think of your calling Think about that when you think of your calling. When you think of, how is God going to use me? What is God going to do with me? Okay? With a little nobody like me. God can turn you into a giant. A colossal monument of God's strength. But it depends on how you go through according to the power that works in you. How are you going to work that thing? You going to work it or you going to wow, wow, How you going to work it? Now, listen to this. This is a song. Oh, this hair. This is a song that really really blessed me when I was um I needed some encouragement and I stumbled onto this song 
And it's by Marilyn McCool. Now, I'm not trying to sing a solo. Please, please, please. I'm not that kind of voice. But I do want you to hear the words. That's the only reason. Teach me to point my face to the storm and stand my ground when troubles rise up all around i'll have no fear fear has driven many gallant warriors to their knees broken hearts and wounded souls have caused them to retreat. Not me, Lord. No, not me. I take the sword of the Spirit in my hand, holding firmly to its truth, knowing all the power within as I march on to the fight. I see the people as they're killed as Satan slays them with his lies and compassion raises deep within my soul and I know once more I want to be a warrior for the Lord. 